Hi, I'm Kathy DeCumos. This dance was choreographed by myself and my husband, Claudio DeCumos. The name of the dance is Watch Me Now. It goes to the song Watch Me Now by Shamrock. And it is a 32 count, four wall, improver level dance. Uh, steps are not that difficult, maybe high beginner level, but there are tags and restarts and it gets a little complicated with the wall changes. So that's why we're calling it improver. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my back and go through the steps first. Then I'll go through with numbers, and then I'll talk a little bit about the fact that we have two tags and one restart, and how the sequence all works. Okay, so weight is on the left. By the way, this dance is all syncopated. It's all one and two and three and four and et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna start a pattern with heel hooks. Our weight's gonna be on the left. We're gonna go heel, hook, heel, hook, shuffle, forward, to say anything left. Heel, hook, heel, hook, shuffle, pull forward. So what we're doing there is we're tapping the heel, then hooking it up in front. Okay, so that's your first eight counts. The second eight counts, we're going to do a turning weave, and we'll be making a half turn right, and then we repeat it, and that's going to bring us back to where we are at our 12 o'clock wall again. We're going to go side behind, quarter, another quarter hitching, weight still on the right, and then side behind, side touch. We're going to do that again, side behind, turn, hitch, side behind, side, touch. The third section, we're going to do a Monterey quarter turn, point, quarter turn, weight on the right, point, step together, and a side mambo. Rock to the right side, recover, step together. Then we're going to step forward on the left, tap the right toe behind, step back on the right, kick the left, and do a left coaster, back, together, forward. Fourth section, we're going to do a shuffle half turn. We're turning left, and we're continuing to progress in that direction. Going quarter together, quarter. We're doing a left coaster, back, together, forward. And a jazz box, cross, back, side, step a little bit forward, or together. And that's the whole dance, but let me give you the numbers, because there's a lot of syncopations there. So our first section with the heel hooks, our weights on the left, we're going to go one and two and three and four, left five and six and seven and eight. The weave section, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Section three, starting with the Monterey. One and two and mambo three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Section four, starting with a half shuffle. One and two, coaster three and four, jazz five, six, seven, eight. And we finished our nine o'clock wall. Okay, in this dance, there is one restart, and it's going to be halfway through the dance, 16 counts in which means you will be at the wall that you started that, that uh, rotation off. You won't have changed walls when you do that restart, that 16 count restart. There's tags, there's two different tags. One of them is eight counts, one of them is four counts. The four count tag is the same as the first half of the eight count tag. So let me go over the tags. The four count tag is two side mambos. Your weight will be on the left, you rock to the right, recover, step together, rock to the left, Recover, step together. The count there, one and two, three and four. The eight count tag starts the same way with your side mambos, right, left, together, left, right, together. Then we're going to go cross rock, recover, quarter, turn right, rock, recover, quarter, and a forward mambo, rock forward, recover, step together. And that, that eight count tag, the numbers will be one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay, the way the sequencing is going to work, you're actually going to only come um, around the room one time. You'll end at the front, and because you're gonna keep changing back to a previous wall because of the tags. Okay, so what's gonna happen, we're gonna start wall one starting at the front, and it will end at nine o'clock. Wall two will start at nine o'clock, and it will end at six o'clock. 
And at the end of wall two is when you have your eight count tag. So when you do that eight count tag at the end of wall two, starting at six o'clock, you will finish the tag back at nine o'clock again. And you'll start wall three at nine o'clock. Wall three will take you from nine o'clock back to six o'clock again. Wall four will start at six o'clock and finish at three o'clock. At the end of wall four, you have your four count tag. That does not change walls, you're still at three o'clock. Then you'll do the wall five, we'll start here, and that's the one where we do 16 counts and restart. And even though you will have turned away from this wall, you will also have come back to it by the end of 16 counts. So then you will start wall seven, wall six here at, at um, three o'clock. Wall six will take you from three o'clock back to 12 o'clock, back to your front wall. You'll do the whole wall. When you get back here, you're going to do about 16 counts of the dance for wall seven. It's going to end around, it's going to end around 16 counts in. You're going to change one little thing at the end if you want a nice ending. You will be facing the, your front wall, your 12 o'clock wall at the end of 16 counts if you want to just follow the exact pattern of the dance. But if you want to make the ending feel a little better with the way the music ends, what we're going to do is change the end of that leading section. You're going to do your heel hook and shuffle pattern, those first eight counts. In the second eight counts, you're going to go all the way up to counts five and six. So you're going to go one and two and three and four and five and six. And instead of the and seven, eight, you're going to cross the left foot over on seven, unwind a half a turn on eight. So it's a little slower. So it'll look like this. One and two and three and four. Five and six, seven, eight. And that fits the way the music is slowing down at the end a little bit better. So that's your ending. Okay, sounds complicated. All makes sense with the music. Not as difficult as it sounds, I hope. Thank you for watching.